Greetings, Milky Slice here. I wanted to talk about uh, Loot Filter and how to set them up. It's um, very efficient uh, to have a good Loot Filter and the basic Loot Filter doesn't do the trick for me anymore. Especially if I just want to play one character in Trade League or Solo Cell Font especially. Um, so I'll show you a little bit how to set up something with an exceptionally good site uh, called Filter Blade. Point, uh, point dot xyz <laughs> and I'm doing this with an example of a bow character. I have four steps. Um, the starting process um, of the leveling and early mapping. Uh, if I got a little bit of gear and still looking for upgrades, if I only wanted to see tier 1 items and this is for pushing everything uh, and only see stuff to sustain maps. So first we set up the ground work for the fundament for everything. Uh, chromatic orb you can show and hide everything you want. I don't want to see big items. I try to make it quick but some things uh, take a little bit more time to explain. Uh, mid quality items. I don't want to see low level items and uh, quality items and just 10 quality or more. It takes too much time for me to sell every 5 person quality game. Um, cartographer chisel recipe I disable the lower ones and only take the highest because I'm too lazy. Uh, same as game cutter prisms with glass blowers, I disable the lowest and go for 10 person quality or higher in higher maps. Uh, later on I disable the things if you don't need glass blowers anymore because you got your plus on trench quality, you don't need this recipe anymore really. Or if you buy the, the things, just disable it. Tubulas is uh, okay. Shanks and bases. So, Shanks, whatever, uh, whatever you like. Some items, Glorious Blade for, for Combs uh, Heart. It's so rare, I don't know if it's worth it uh, to shun something like that. If you're solo cell phone, you want Bonds of all for your summoner, throw the base in and see it. That's uh, mainly important for solo cell phone, I would say or if you want to gamble on something like a headhunter. So if I'm SSF, I want Imperial Bows for a Shunk, for a Bind Ripper or a Lion Ice Grave player, for example. I can throw it in. Imperial Bow, I want Shunks in base, but I don't want to Shunks um, headhunters. Do whatever you like here. Uh, currency, I enable everything in my normal filter, but I reduce how big it is on the screen for lower currency. Just a little bit, just a little bit, and yeah, it's fine. Uh, later on we disable some if it goes stricter. Uh, unique items. Show everything. If you don't want to see the shittiest ones, uh, hide them, but for the first start, show them up. Uh, show everything up because there might be some low level unique bows in there I might uh, would use for leveling. Divination cards. Personally, I disable tier, three, tier 4 and tier 5 and tier 3 as well. But in tier 3 there are some cards I would like to see. Solo cell phone or in trade league. Uh, there's, there's stuff in there. You, you have to browse everything you want. The Wretched is a good card for Unique Bells, for example. The Belly of the Steelbox, fine, I would pick it up. And um, set up um, cards you really want. Uh, if you have no clue, show tier 3 and tier 4 and it's fine, but in tier 4 there are some shitty cards you probably don't want. It's better to look over everything and Make a uh, tier 1, tier 2 and maybe tier 3 and disable the lowest tier if you don't need the cards anymore. Uh, but yeah, that's that's personal preference uh, which cards you want to see. Uh, best story, uh, if you hate it, disable everything. If you like it, show everything. In stricter filters I would disable everything except strong steel nets and the ones above. Uh, crafting. You want to see, if you're solo cell font and you play only this character in this race and you want to push all the way up, don't show items you don't craft. I'm a bow character, I don't want to see shields, I don't want to see strength based items. 
I would never craft an unset ring in the uh, end game with my character probably. I disable it. Disable everything. Disable everything for crafting in the end game for a high item level basis. You only want to see items you would really really want to craft tier 1 basis. Um, like like the lion pelt, evasion base, highest evasion base. Uh, you can craft on a high item level with it if you want. If you're in trade league, show every tier 1 base. You would sell to other players or use yourself for crafting, but yeah, it's early on it's worth something. Later on, pro uh, people only craft shaper or elder gear, so it's questionable. For solo cell phone, set in what you need for your character. For trade league, shape and elder items do the trick mainly, and they are mainly helmets for um, for the labyrinth. So set this up. Um, that's okay. Uh, you can keep it in. It's six socket items. We show it anyway. Um, as a swords, some people like to arc them and do their best. I don't. I wouldn't do it personally. I disable it. I don't want to see those item bases. Same for the lower ones, I disable everything. Uh, four links up to 72, it's fine. I can set it to something like 70 or 69. Uh, you don't want to see your four links if you're farming tier 3 burial chambers for example, so disable it if you don't want to see it anymore. As an endgame basis, you can throw something in. Um, you really want. For example, Harbinger bow. I might craft something. I don't find a unique bow. With my solo cell found ethical experience, I want to see a bow of item level 1 they can drop only at, I don't know, 68, 64, something like that. I want to see every Harbinger bow that drops. So I might uh, craft them. Or a bow of level, I don't know, 79 for example. Um, it can help early on. In stricter filters, I kick it out. I I mainly kick it out then. So if you want, keep it in. Maps, fragments, etc. It's uh, I just keep it like it is usually. But you can set up uh, something stricter later on. If you only want to see shaped, uh, you either shaped atlas, just show the shaped items, for example, or a specific maps. You can set it up here. Flask, my character won't use a quad, sulfur flask and a granite flask is evasion based with acrobatics. So throw and kick kick all the flasks out. You will never use and some flasks you might wanna have one in your stash, one ruby, one sapphire, one topaz flask, but in stricter filters, throw them out. Buy them from other players if you're solo cell found. Just show the flask up you need. Your resolute technique car character, kick out diamond flask, you don't need it. And that's only uh, counting a level 65 plus um, below that, that's another story. <coughs> Atlas exclusive items, that's another thing. I only play one character, solo cell phone, I don't need blue player pearls and vanguards and bone helmets and Spike gloves. I'm a bow character. I need grab gloves. I kick everything out. I got four items here. Those uh, Atlas items I would like to see and maybe craft. Uh, here's something. Uh, amulet exception. Disable it uh, if you don't want to see them. S um, put everything in here you want to see for your character or that it's worth selling if you're in trade league and throw everything else out. Uh, later on, two-ton boots, uh, boots for example. I don't want to craft anymore. I got good two-ton two boots already or unique boots, whatever. You can kick it out entirely or disable uh, showing any normal or magic atlas base, for example. You don't need to see it if you don't uh, want to use it. Uh, jewels early on, I want to see all jewels. Uh, 
corrupted basis. Uh, you can show it up or not. As well as crude ball, I won't use it. Disable it. So we can go over this. If you want to use a chaos recipe, uh, this is a, it's explained here in this video. I try to do it faster. Uh, you can highlight rares by item slot and we set up two rules only affects t3 or lower items uh, usually uh, you can make this stricter later on and stricter filters but uh, in stricter filters you don't want to do the carrot recipe anymore so I just keep this and first I set up every item except weapons and rings and bells and amulets which show up anyway and yeah body armor boots gloves and helmets i set up some colors i like something that stands out a little bit a background something i don't know ah, that's fine for me and item level 60 plus because earlier we cannot do the chaos recipe you can do the same and hide items over 75 for example if you don't want to see items for the um, regal recipe and I make it smaller I don't want the chaos recipe stuff cluttering up all the screen personal preference um, yeah that's everything is fine here I paste the copied stuff and already have my colors here. Uh, same only affects T3 or lower items. And this time I want wands and all the other items that are small, only three only take three space for an efficient chaos recipe. And those are all the items then that can have three sockets for the recipe. 65 uh, level 60 again and we set up wise and oh, hi three in a row top and only one white and I can show it here the simulate and we got the chaos recipe items in here um, there is some stuff that uh, will be filtered out later But, for example, the opal wand uh, was in here. There are some items that are in here for the recipe. Um, however, you can you can hide rares by base items, for example. Um, affects all rares. Um, you can... Uh, yeah, base items is not what I want. Item slot. I wanna hide every two-handed axe, mace, stave, thrusting one-handed sword. That's everything. I want. I don't wanna see anything. It's possible. You don't need two-handed axes with a bow belt. <laughs> I can. No, the same for claws. Claws. I don't need it for the recipe, etc. Throw out claws. You don't need it. Legion hammer, okay. Ah, you 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 can set up some hide items, um, item slots, or anything that's bigger than some. Um, can add a new rule for items that are too big, like uh, three, uh, six hides, uh, three and white two, for example. Every one-handed mace that's that big. It will dis will be disabled. Set up uh, what you want, what you don't want to see with your character. Crafting high level uh, item bases. Um, that's basically the same uh, as earlier. Uh, throw everything out you don't need. You don't want to see most of the stuff. Um, here, yeah, it's. It's basically the same we had earlier with crafting rules, um, but but with rare items basically. Mm. I'm a bow character. I don't need shields. Kick out every shield. Kick out every armor piece. Yeah, you can't cannot use armor with the strength requirements, a high tier basis, etc. 
you can kick out everything siege access it's basically the filter um, basically the same as a height height filter but but for the bases uh, the higher ones um, this is for the really high tier crafting I usually throw everything out I disable everything and make tier one uh, tier zero item level bases 86 uh, handmade really only the items I want I write them in here I don't know imperial bow I edit and edit in there just put everything in one uh, what you want to see tier one and two handpick bases <coughs> I don't need smaller weapons I am a bow character I need larger weapons no I don't need them disable them smaller armors yeah, I want um, evasion items. So for evasion items, for example, you can go on pure eCraft or the um, main main page and check out helmets, for example, and you can look over all the base items. So in my uh, early filter, I want to see lion pearls up to I don't know, Orzin pearls, for example. Those four bases, I would want to see them. Just add the tier 1 basis in here in this filter and the next one the tier 2 or tier 3 adds the lower one so I just want to see the evasion basis for high crafting the rest and can be disabled everything out here body armor disabled there's nothing in here tier 2 rares same as earlier kick everything out um, from you don't need <laughs> everything out. Ah, small weapons, disable it. You don't want it. 200 weapons, harbinger bow. Yeah, sure. Why not? If they drop, I might want to ID them. If I'm going wind ripper and I find one, I don't want to see harbinger bows anymore. If I only play with um, solo cell phone with a wind ripper, I luckily dropped or chance then disable it. You don't need see no need to see items you don't ID or use. Uh, disable everything again. Every base you don't need. For tier two, I would keep hybrid items because the stat requirements are rather low, and you could use them still on the evasion character in this example. But um, again, Valgrief requires 117 strings uh, I might might be able to use it I might not be able to use it it really depends on the items but uh, yeah and some might uh, version that needs a lot of strings you might might want to kick some items out shields you don't want to see any rare shield um, ES bases pure AS items you might want to see them earlier but Throw in what you want to see and, and what you would wear. Um, armor pieces, you don't use it. You don't need Valrig areas uh, or shields. I don't use it on this character. Yeah, maybe maybe these items. Those, yeah, that's not. Those four items, it's fine if they show up. Uh, rings is fine usually. Everything shows up. Breach rings are usually shitty. You can disable it, but it's the first filter. I keep it up. I want to see every every item, uh, basically. Tier three items. Yeah, we disable everything we don't want. Disable everything. You go through this. Disable everything you don't use. Cloth foils. I'm a bow character. I only want to see bows. We set it up here. One hand axes. I don't want to see them. But uh, um, two handed weapons. Okay, that's that's melee weapons. Both are separate. Except, uh, very good. Um, early on, you can keep up everything uh, with both glove boots, helmet. The same. Um, yeah, armor pieces you want to see early on with uh, no gear at all. You want to see all the items probably. Uh, shields, disable them. I'm a bow character, I don't need shields. But if you use a shield, keep it up, but disable your bows. You know what I mean. Um, 
with the quivers, it's fine as well. Chromatic rear, okay, that's uh, everything fine. Uh, so if you go to simulate, we sh we see much less right now. All the big bases I don't use for chaos recipes as disabled, but the smaller ones I would use for chaos recipe or that are lower in tier. Bar grease, okay, I would use it, but it's not in chaos recipe because it's a higher base. But everything else is uh, shown up here. Should be fine. Lesion sword, it's a 200 sword, yes. Yeah. I got my uh, chaos recipe and shows up and every item I will never use, every shield etc. won't show up and that's what we want. Abyss League, Abyss Jewels, um, uh, early on I keep up everything but later on mm, you might want to sell them in standard or to other players, depends on solo cell phone or trade. Uh, if I uh, go serious, I just go for searching eye jewels, maybe murderous eye, depending uh there's some good murderous eyes, and yeah, that's disable everything I would never use for this character. If you go for many characters, um, you can go uh, white in there and show up everything. Mm, splinters, if you like to run low um, low ash or tools etc, show splinters up. I usually only run uh, chayulas if I want and don't pick up the rest. Um, you can pick them up, you can disable them. I don't think it's worth the effort to pick every splinter up except chayula. Uh, as in the rest here is fine for me. Nothing to change here, in my opinion. You can filter essences, etc., if you want. <coughs> so, the last important thing is uh, leveling below level 65. Here, I hide items by item slots. All gear. For every item I will never use, except that dagger once, shield. Up to item level 59. I will hide everything that affects those items I will never use. I play from level 1 with a bow character. I only need bow, quiver and all the other item slot I can use. So I might need to change a few things because there are some special filters but if I'm level 13 in a level 13 zone I don't see any any shield anymore, only items I have in there. That's really important in my opinion. I don't want to be cluttered with 200 melee weapons I will never use. There's no reason to show them up. You can ID them and uh, sell them for, I don't know, two alteration shards. Uh, but <laughs> You will never use it. Uh, now we can customize it even stricter. So first set up something you really will never use. Hide everything you will never use on this character. And you can hide uh, other item slots if you want. Uh, that they pop up a little bit. Uh, you can throw in item progression in this case both. And yeah, quivers, uh, that's only for weapons. Not for quivers. Okay, I haven't done it with both uh, yet, and you, know, you can show every item you want. Uh, rare items are shown anyway, but this is for crafting. If you want to do some recipes or slime essences, etc., uh, you can show all normal or magic items um, in this case, and it's bigger and with with special colors if you want. It's uh, really helpful to uh, set up your weapon type you want. Uh, colors and links. Mm, you can throw in colors you need for your build. I don't know. You need green, green, red, and blue, for example, as a four link. Uh, you can throw it on a bow, for example, as well, and edit. This is a, I don't know, your tornado shot setup uh, has these four colors, and you want to see it highlighted in 
special colors with special throw uh, special sound for leveling throw it in and for link rear gear again disable everything you don't want some bases ca cannot have a four link uh, for example but disable everything it should be hidden anyway uh, because of the earlier filter uh, but I'm not definitely uh, not 100 percent sure uh, right now uh, but just hide everything you don't need uh, caster gear disable it I'm not a caster falling gear chromatic or oh, uh, why not I don't care flash section section mm. we show up everything and with the progress uh, never think thing is uh, very good for this. Then there are some fine tuning settings. Uh, you can do it or not. Early on you can show up uh, larger chromatics if you want. I just keep it in here. There are hand picked items for um, for the early game that pop up a little bit bigger. For trinkets and caster weapons I disable it again etc. Um, I personally have no problems with Brutus usually I disable it as well but I don't want to see too much stuff early on again caster weapons disable it and picked but okay highlight jewelry fine um, early boots you can quiver progress that's fine as well which quivers pop up um, frequently and which not First level normal items up to level 4, white items are shown, but again, no claws, swords, scepters, daggers, shields, wands, everything I don't want to see. Even a tillock, I only want to see the items I need. If I want to pick everything up, I press Alt and see everything. Again, other items, blah, I don't care about everything except wands and quiver. Early levels, magic items, same. I don't want to see every thing in here. Kick everything out. You do this one time, and after that, you can always loot the filter and uh, load the filter and edit it uh, once. I don't want to see it as well. If your next character is a want character, a wander, and you want to start early with wands, but you have already a uh, unique gear, change what you want. Uh, pop in wands, pop in uh, shields, and disable bows instead. Uh, do what pleases you. Mm, same, same for all the other stuff. Rare caster weapons. I don't want to see any rare caster weapons. Okay, uh, most should be set up. Uh, let's simulate something. Mm, it's level 13. For example, I see all the blue items I could use, but up to a certain level, if I'm 26 zone, um, some blue items don't show up anymore. Uh, for example, if it goes higher, um, it's on level 48, fewer blue items show up. Uh, that's thanks to never things uh, set up here. But only rare items show up I would use or crafting bases or four links etc. And if we go higher to level 72 let's say I only see bases I use and in this case chaos recipe items. Efficient chaos recipe items. You can always go in here and disable the chaos recipe again with the custom rule. Uh, and disable the highlight and you're fine. Yeah, that's that's basically the setup. Uh, this is what I would run in the start uh, with my first character up until maps and if everything is set up uh, with my character I got the base items, I don't need um, the low tier currencies for example, I hide my wisdom and portal scrolls uh, augmentations I like to farm in longer and armor scraps, but uh, let's hide them for example. And you go through a few things you don't need anymore. You got all your flasks ready. Yeah, 20 quality is fine, but you don't want to clutter up your stash anymore. Disable all the lowest stuff you don't want to see. 
uh, you can do the same in the simulate um, stuff here. A chaos recipe, you might want to see it still, but you can hide it. And just go in the uh, in this thing and disable it. So often, in many cases, if you click something and it's highlighted, you can find it in the customizer. You click on it and you are in here. And you can turn off the filter or change it, make something smaller or bigger. Um, I like to yeah, keep everything important first in here. And yeah, no flask for example. Let's let's find a flask. Some flask. No flask. No flask. No flask. Silver coin you can filter it out when, uh, if you don't like it. Um, so now, now I'm in a case. Uh, I only want to see evasion items anymore. I don't want to see armor or energy shield items. That might be good, but uh, don't fit my character. Uh, or all, uh, tier 3 and tier 4 items uh, in general. You can filter out every tier 3 and 4 item uh, you don't want to see anymore. Like clothes and armor pieces. Everything. You can turn off everything. Same for, for both, for example. If you are at a stage where you don't need the items anymore, go for it. So simulate, and we only got mainly better things. Uh, small armor pieces disabled. Okay, that was still enabled. Ah, uh, now it's way more stricter than before. Quiver, for example. Um, you might only want to see one base uh, later on. Hide everything else. Hide everything else. You don't need it at some point. You got all your jewels ready uh, or don't want to craft jewels anymore. Go in here and hide every blue jewel. Or for example, bow character, Viridian jewels have the highest odds to get something good. I only want to see Viridian jewels. Disable everything else. Just show up what you really need. It's that easy. Just hide everything you don't want to see anymore. There are some ring bases. Uh, tier 2 accessories. Um, yeah, reach rings. I don't want to see them. I don't want to see power rings anymore or iron rings. Disable it. If you just render them anyway, and don't do your carrots recipe anymore. You don't need to see the items anymore. See, show if it dis disable the other items here. Uh, oh, I forgot the, the gems. I hide tier three items. And tier two drop only gems. Sure, keep it in if you want or tier one. <coughs> we only see items we really, really want with this character. We always pick up. Unique items, okay, you might um, let it be there. And that's how you set up your filter, basically. The stricter you go, uh, if you if you have something like this, is a, I should have done that earlier, but save it, go one, up to maps, and after that go stricter, and save every stage you want. Mm. If I go stricter than before, I can only show my tier 1 rare items and disable everything else. Disable it, disable it. I don't want to see both anymore. I got everything. I don't want to see hybrid items anymore or just show up uh, really tier 1 or tier 2 um, rare items. Then I manually kick everything out. That's an evasion base with energy shield. I don't want hybrids anymore. I only want to see evasion gear. So you kick everything out. Yeah, and, <laughs> and that's it. Hybrid items. Oh, I, I already got a unique chest I really want to use. Kick this out. Mm. Okay, this quiver. I don't need it. I only want to see a crit quiver. I show it up. And yeah, if you if you got everything set up and 
you, in, in the end you only want to see tier 1 bases. Those three items. If your character is well made and farms the, I don't know, shade, shaped haunted mansion all day long, you don't really need upgrades, but if some tier 1 base drops uh, you may, might want to ID it, then show those items and hide everything else. Uh, later on you got your mirrored gear, you don't need to see <laughs> the shit anymore. And that's how you go stricter and stricter. Uh, Abyss jewels, yeah. I don't want to see anything but searching eye jewels anymore. Then just show him magic items. I don't give a shake, shit. I have, I don't know, 200 scoring orbs. If I want to craft something, I just use scoring orb. I don't want to see blue items anymore. Mm, yeah. That's, that's basically it. You can always go into the simulate and yeah, later on remove some maps and lower tiers and we can remove some unique items we don't want to see. Rare items we don't want to see. You might not want to see any gold rings anymore. I can find it in the customizer. Uh, and Everything in tier 1 is shown, that's not in here, and add gold ring. And a gold amulet. You exactly know you will never use it, then hide it. Oh, window recipe, chromatics. I don't want to see chromatics anymore, I got 10,000 chromatics in my stash. <laughs> and that's how you go stricter and stricter uh, with the item filter. Oh, talisman is something special, they usually don't drop, but I set them to bigger than rare, for example. I don't want to see white talisman, I will never use them. Yeah, jewels, you can hide it in here. In maps, you can you can some throw something in, but um, I usually, gear is the most important thing to show what, what to see and what not and penetrating quiver uh, hide I don't want to see penetrating only spike point I only use crit quivers anymore I got a good one and the only upgrade would be a spike point quiver you can show everything and val them all the time sure go for it uh, but that's how you filter out any more uh, and more stuff. That's a special rule as well. And game rare, red, green, blue. Disable it. You don't want it anymore. And yeah, that's how you do it. Um, you can do the same for belts. You only use Stygnian uh, or have a headhunter. <laughs> you don't need to see belt and that's how you get more efficient but for me personally the most important th uh, thing is uh, level 20 zones for example I don't want to see uh, too many items only items I would use uh, still default item progression I miss that part disable stuff you don't need Okay. Um, yeah, three link items, rare items, blue items. Uh, you can go over bases you don't want, um, but they they are hidden at some levels anyway. Later on, blue items disappear over time. You can do it earlier, but with the first character, you might be desperate with some uh, items as well. So. That's that's important thing. Only see items you need with your character. If I show hidden items, uh, there there's stuff, some, some random white items, malls I don't use, staffs I don't use, low level bows I would never use again. Drop level 14. That's nothing I want. <laughs> so. This is how you do it. Save it and then. 
download it, download your filter and document my game's path of exile, add it in and enable your loot filter in the game. And you're done. It was a little bit too long I think, but um, I hope this helped a little bit for you. Um, especially for leveling, that's for me personally important to not see any mazes with my bow character and no swords with my bow character or white random two-handed swords. That's really annoying to see stuff you don't need uh, or you can't wear because the gear requirement is too high for a specific character. Um, that's another thing. Mm. Thought character progression, okay, that's up to level 42. Uh, blue items are shown. I can set it late, uh, lower to four, uh, 32, for example, 33. Yeah, fine. Okay, we're done. I hope it helped. Um, if you have any uh, suggestions for another video or something, I might do it. Um, have a nice one. Bye.